name of the blind, say so put shorten in there, boom, get to a YouTube video, somebody is step stepping me through, and I take my wireless laptop, sit it right there beside the thing, and I go step one and play and pause. Okay, clip, step one, step two, okay, and clip, step three, and I do that. There's a video for everything. Right? 68% of Gen Y say friends and family play a role in their financial decisions. You want to market to Gen Y? Market to mom and dad and brother and sister. You can sell them, they'll get the word back to the Gen Y. And it'll be through a trusted channel. Okay? 25%, only 25% rely on your websites for information. 11% use online communities for help. But by the way, if the friends and family are in the online community, you're back up to 68%, and that's happening in Facebook and MySpace and all those other places. Okay? Online is the dominant channel. We've talked about that. Your customers are there. They want two-way conversations, not one-way data dumps or what your balance is, what their balance happens to be. Social networks, are, and this is the other thing I don't understand. There's so much concern and aversion by financial institutions as institutions, particularly community financial institutions and credit unions, about doing the social media thing because of compliance concerns and all this other stuff. I get that, and those concerns are real. But hello, this is where community is happening. Aren't you community financial institutions? These things go hand in glove together. Okay? More about that in just a second. So what are the five ways that financial institutions right now are using social media to get to Gen Y and the other generations that have followed suit, followed suit as we talked about? 